algorithm. What is it? You hear this word every day and everywhere you go. It is what YouTubers blame for their lack of success on YouTube. It is what social media influencers blame for their decreased audience reach on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and other social media platforms. It is what marketers blame for their lack of success with Google SEO, while simultaneously thanking it for marketers targeted success with digital advertising. It is what the Russians use to elect Donald Trump as US president in 2016 by using Facebook user and advertisement platform. It is what allowed a system called AlphaZero by DeepMind to use algorithms to teach itself chess, shogi, and go games without any human beings teaching it anything at all. This Apple Zero system then went on to defeat the world champions in Go, Shogi, and chess game. To answer the question of what a black box algorithm is, we first have to get a general sense of what an algorithm is. So, in today's podcast, we will explore what is an algorithm, what is a black box algorithm, we will also look at a real-world example of an ag if a black box algorithm that is both positively and negatively impacting our lives. And we will also explore how are black box algorithms created in the first place and what are the dangers and consequences of black box algorithms. Welcome to the Data Science Academy podcast. I am your host, Evidence N. You can find me online at evidencen.com. That is E V I D E N C E N.com. You are welcome to check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash evidencen. You can get today's episodes and every episode of this podcast at datascienceacademypodcast.com You can get the show notes of today's podcast at evidencen.com slash blog I highly encourage you to become a member of our data science community where you can share your data science knowledge and learn from other data scientists and it is free whether you are an aspiring data scientist or already in the data science field, you are welcome to join us. Just go to datascienceacademy.mn.co to become a member. And of course, the link to our data science community will be in the description and show notes. Let's dive in. Algorithms affect all aspects of our daily lives. From using your phone alarm clock to wake up in the morning, to the music and podcast you listen to. From the smart devices in your home, to your social media interactions. From your smart fridge to your web browser activity. From ride sharing and food delivery services, to sending and receiving text messages, phone calls and emails. Algorithms are weaved into the tapestry of our lives. Algorithms are embedded in everyday lives, whether we like it or not. So, if algorithms are running this world we live in today, what exactly is an algorithm? And most importantly, for data scientists, what is a black box algorithm? 
To begin, what is an algorithm? According to Oxford Dictionary, an algorithm is a process or set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem solving operations, especially by a computer. Wikipedia defines algorithm as unambiguous specifications for performing calculation, data processing, automated reasoning, and other tasks. Now that we have a basic understanding of what an algorithm is, let's move on to black box algorithm. So, what is a black box algorithm? Black box algorithm refers to a machine learning model where you know what goes in and what comes out, but you don't know or understand the inner workings of the algorithm or how the algorithm is producing its results. Black box algorithms are usually complex machine learning models as opposed to simplified machine learning models like logistic regression. If black box algorithms are so difficult to explain, why would a data scientist choose a black box algorithm as opposed to a simplified algorithm? Well, the simple answer is accuracy. Typically, black box algorithms produce better outcomes with greater accuracy than simple algorithms. Black box algorithms gain their names from the mystery they present in exactly how they work and the difficulty in explaining why the results is what they are. Now that we've seen and understood what, an, what a black box algorithm is, let's look at an example of a black box algorithm. One example of a black box algorithm is called Compass. And the Compass was discovered by a ProPublica investigation. And the link to this investigation will be in the description and notes section of this podcast. Compass is an algorithm used across the United States by police officers to determine if somebody is more or less likely to commit a crime again in the future. So what is the probability of being a real offender? From the outside looking in, one might think such an algorithm is a blessing to the local communities and the societies at large because officers are more likely to stop a crime or a criminal before it happens. But the problem with this black box algorithm called Compax is that it has bias baked into it. And because it is a black box algorithm, we can't easily decode this bias or its source and therefore remove it from the algorithm. So the algorithm will continue to function with its bias and continue its job of classifying one group of people who are not a threat to society as being riskier and more dangerous than another group of people who are more likely to re-offend and does in fact re-offend. Compass seems like a good idea at first, but when Compass starts classifying low-risk people as high risk of re-offending and high risk re-offenders as low risk people due to the bias baked into the algorithm then a human life can be derailed because of a black box algorithm and there is nothing we can do about it because we don't understand the algorithm how it works or how it makes decisions so we've looked at what a black box algorithm is and one example of a black box algorithm and how it can positively in, impact the society while negatively derailing somebody's life. Now, let, now let's look at how black box algorithms are created in the first place. We'll be right back after this short break.
You can find me, your host, online at evidencen.com. That is E V I D E N C E N.com. You are welcome to check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash evidencen. You can get to this episodes and every episode of this podcast at datasciencecademy.com. You can get the show notes of today's podcast at evidencen.com slash blog. I highly encourage you to become a member of our data science community where you can share your data science knowledge and learn from other data scientists and it is free. Whether you are an aspiring data scientist or already in the data science field, you are welcome to join us. Just go to datasciencecademy.mn.co to become a member. And of course, the link will be in the description and show notes. Now back to the show. So how are black box algorithms created? According to a research paper by Harvard Journal of Law and Technology, machine learning algorithms are responsible for black box algorithms. The paper proceeds to name two types of algorithms that might help explain the origins of black box algorithms. The first algorithm is a deep neural network which often involves the use of thousands of artificial neurons to learn from and process data. The complexity of these countless neurons and their interconnections makes it difficult, if not impossible, to determine precisely how decisions or predictions are being made. And the second algorithm is a support vector machine which is used to illustrate how shallow algorithms can also create a black box problem because they process and optimize numerous variables at once by finding geometric patterns in higher dimensional mathematically defined spaces. This high dimensionality prevents humans from visualizing how the AI relying on the support vector machine is making its decisions or from predicting how the AI will treat a new data. And this research paper goes on to say that one possible reason AI may be a black box to humans is that it relies on machine learning algorithms that internalize data in ways that are not easily audited or understood by humans. Here are two examples to illustrate this. First, A lack of transparency may arise from the complexity of the algorithm structure, such as with a deep neural network, which consists of thousands of artificial neurons working together in a diffuse way to solve a problem. This reason for AI being a black box is referred to as complexity. Second, the second reason for why AI might be a black box may arise because the AI is using a machine learning algorithm that relies on geometric relationships that humans cannot visualize, such as with the support vector machines. This reason for AI being a black box is referred to as dimensionality. And that's the end of the quote from the paper. You can go to the link in the description and you can read the whole paper for yourself. But based on this research by Harvard Journal of Law and Technology, the creation of black box algorithms can be attributed to two main things, machine learning algorithms and support vector machines. And these algorithm systems present themselves as black box algorithms due to two main reasons, the complexity and dimensionality of these algorithms. Obviously, 
creating things we can't understand is a problem, which is why we must find a solution to black box algorithms. Now that we've explored what is a black box algorithm, an example of a black box algorithm, and how a black box algorithm could be created in the first place, let's go on to explore the dangers and consequences of black box algorithms. Now you might be thinking, what's the big deal with black box algorithms? Why are we humans desperate for the ability to explain black box algorithms? Some people might say that as long as it works, there's no reason to have to explain it. So why then do we seek to understand black box algorithms? and how the gears are turning to produce the outputs we see. There are several reasons why black box algorithms and being able to explain them is a big deal. Some of these reasons include 1. Communication For a data scientist to be able to communicate with non-technical people in a business environment is critical. So if a data scientist doesn't understand the model they are working with, then they can't explain it to non-technical people. And if they can't explain how they got the results they have and how they came to this conclusion to business leaders, then the results from the black box algorithm might be rejected by business leaders, even if the results are accurate. Humans have a natural tendency to throw away or reject anything they don't understand. Also, if data scientists don't understand the model they are working with, they can't communicate it and explain it to their fellow data scientists. The second reason why we would want, why we would want to understand black box algorithms is documentation. You can't document something you don't know exists or understand. Proper documentation is important in programming. Documentation ensures consistency helps you remember the work you did and explain your work to other people. If you can't and don't understand the inner workings of your algorithms, then you can't document it. The third reason for wanting to understand black box algorithms is improvement. If you don't understand how the algorithm is working, then you would know how to tweak it to improve the algorithms and thus improve your results. The fourth reason why black box algorithms are a danger to us and the consequences of it is consistency. If you don't understand the inner workings of the algorithms, the why and how it is driving the outcomes it is producing, then you have no way of knowing if the algorithm is being consistent in its production process. You don't know for a fact if the mechanical workings that led to the last result is equivalent to the mechanical workings that led to the current result. And the fifth and final reason why black box algorithms are dangerous and, the consequence, and one of the consequences of having a black box algorithm is ethics. If you don't understand the algorithm, then you won't be able to check spot and correct the biases that might be built into the algorithm. You won't even know the algorithm has biases that you should compensate or correct for until the algorithm starts producing results and then you might notice biases in the results the algorithm is producing. At the end of the day, it is no secret that black box algorithms are powerful, but the curiosity of their working process still bugs the human mind. I have no doubt that one day, humans will be able to debug how every black box algorithm works. But until then, who will continue to love their results while simultaneously despising their mysterious nature? Thank you for listening to today's podcast. If this podcast provided you with value, 
please give it a five star review and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen to your podcast and i really appreciate that once again i am your host evidence and you can find me online at evidenceN.com. that is e-v-i-d-e-n-c-e-n.com you are welcome to check out my youtube channel at youtube.com slash evidence and you can get today's episodes and every episode of this podcast at data science academy podcast.com you can get the show notes of today's podcast at evidence slash blog i highly encourage you to become a member of our data science community where you can share your data science knowledge and learn from other data scientists and it is free whether you are an aspiring data scientist or already in the data science field we are welcome to join us just go to datasciencecademy.mn.co to become a member and of course the link to our data science community will be in the description I'll talk to you all again in the future. Goodbye for now.